brought to you by dentalimplantsguide.com. Best online info with. When it comes to abutment selection, um, MIS really likes to, we like to pride ourselves on the fact that we have a very, very comprehensive selection of abutments, whether you're doing cement retained, screw retained, uh, a ball attachment for an overdenture, or a locator attachment for an overdenture. Uh, we also do have a multi-unit uh, when you're talking about a screw retained case. Uh, when you're talking about cement retained, you have the anatomic uh, cementing transgingival abutment. We have something called the complete prosthetic set. Basically what this is, uh, is everything that you're going to need to restore a straightforward case when there's no need for correction of angulation. Uh, basically, you have your final abutment, which is actually available in four different cuff heights, one, two, three, and four millimeter, depending on the gingiva. Um, that abutment you will actually place into the implant and torque it down uh, to 30 newton centimeters uh, when, you're, when you are ready to restore the implant. Basically, what that's doing for you is it is now acting as your final abutment. Uh, the next thing that we have is actually going to be the plastic impression coping here, which has a flat side. There's a flat side on this abutment as well, which you want to place buckle. You are then going to take that plastic cap, place it on this abutment, and make sure that the flat sides match up, make sure the margins are even at the bottom, and take your impression. Once you've taken your impression, this abutment actually will stay in the mouth, and you will take what's called the healing cap, the plastic healing cap, which also has a flat side. You'll put, some, you'll put a cotton cabinet inside the abutment, put some tempon inside that plastic healing cap, and match up the flat sides and put that, flat, that plastic healing cap right on the abutment and send the patient home. The patient is now finished with their part of the, uh, of, of the restoration for now. You'll then take that, um, that impression that you've taken with this plastic cap inside it and send it to the lab along with an abutment analog, it's, which is an exact replica of this abutment on top of a lab analog, which actually is a reason you're not going to prep this analog as well, uh, as well. This analog goes in, you torque it down, and basically it's, it's ready to go. You're not prepping it because otherwise the rest of this kit then becomes uh, negated and you can just basically go ahead and throw it away. Now, uh, you, again, you're going to send the impression along with the uh, Im the abutment analog and at the same time excuse me at the same time you're also going to send uh, those two the red cap and the white cap that are at the end there you're going to send those to the lab what those are are burnout caps for the lab the red is going to be engaging the white is going to be non-engaging basically those are for cases when um, the lab is going to do it whether it's a multiple or whether it's a single case we also offer a full line of abutments uh, if you want to do uh, just a regular uh, preppable straight abutments. We have them in a narrow, in a standard, and in a wide. When you're talking about straight abutments, you may also want to do you may want to do an aesthetic abutment. Basically, you can pick between an aesthetic abutment with a narrow collar or a wide collar, depending on the gingival height that you have. Uh, you can also, if you're working in the aesthetic zone, you can actually work with a zirconia abutment, uh, which we do have again with the scallop collar, but it is also fully preppable. If you want to do angulated, we have six different angulated abutments. Uh, there are three different ones in a 15 degree or a 25 degree, depending on the collar type that you would like uh, aesthetically, whether you want you know, narrow, whether you want a little bit higher, uh, but those are available as well. When you're talking screw retained a little bit, um, we have the UCLA gold and plastic custom abutments, which you can use again. The red is going to be for engaging. The white is going to be non-engaging um, for single or for multiple cases. If you want to do temporary abutments, we also have uh, a direct temporary plastic cylinder that you can use for temporaries. In talking about overdentures, um, we can, you know, ball attachments is a wonderful option. Uh, we have them both for the wide and for the standard, as well as the key that goes with them, and the, plastic, the metal housing that goes within the denture, the disc for preparation, as well as the plastic housing that goes within it. Uh, if you want to use the locator abutments, we, those are available as well in heights of 0 to 6 millimeters. Uh, again, you have it for either wide or for standard. Uh, we also offer the locator core tool. And then basically you just pick which retention caps you want that go along with the, uh, with the metal housing that comes in the processing pack. And once you pick between the regular, the light, or the extra light, uh, basically you're finished with the case. And um, that's it for the MIS-7. So thank you for your time, and uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you so much. Brought to you by DentalImplantsGuide.com. Best online info.